They used our hijabs to gag us. Systematic abuse of Iranian protesters. On February 6th, British news outlet The Guardian released a report detailing the systematic abuse many Iranian protesters faced at the hands of the Islamic Republic security forces amidst ongoing protests that have rocked the country. The newspaper interviewed 11 protesters, men and women, who suffered torture and sexual violence from regime authorities. They also talked to a nurse who detailed who women who came in for treatment were bleeding from their vaginas due to infection, a sign of sexual torture that many Iranians have experienced. One of the protesters interviewed by The Guardian, 25-year-old uh, Dorsa, was violently arrested along with her sister and two male friends. The group was forced to sign confessions stating that they were protesting before being separated from one another for interrogation, aka torture. She was sexually abused by a foreign object before she was released. Sarah, a woman in her 40s from Iran's Kurdistan region, was among the first protesters to be arrested during the first waves of protests triggered by the deaths of, death of Masa Amini. Like many female protesters, she was beaten and sexually assaulted and said authorities even used their hijabs to gag their mouths. 30-year-old Kamyar from Mashhad also narrated how Iranian authorities sexually abused him in a police van. Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch have published detailed reports showing the human rights violations committed by the regime against its citizens. So I wanted to talk about this because we, I mean, if you follow here in Atheist Republic, you know that this is a thing, you know that this is how protesters are treated, right? But it, it's important that we talk about this again now because Armin, this is something, a broader issue that we need to unpack, is that there are a wave of general amnesties that are happening in the country. So there are a lot of people that are being released from prison right now. And so we're now getting more details about all of the things that the authorities have been doing for the past several months. So, <clears throat> It, it, it's important that we still talk about it because it might have happened a little while ago, but it's only now that this information can come out. And so it's really important that we shed light on it, right? Because light is a disinfectant. Um, and um, so that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to talk about this and highlight it. But Armin, can for those who don't know, can you please explain what is going on with the prison releases we are seeing and the so-called general amnesties? Give us the background. Yeah, so we have like even friends uh, being kicked out of prison. It's weird. So we had a, so many people arrested after the recent protests in, in Iran. And recently, the Supreme Leader Khamenei just um, signed a, a general you know, amnesty to everybody to free the vast, not everybody, the vast majority of prisoners. Um, as long as they signed a letter saying that they would not do that uh, anymore. So, so many people signed it and they released a whole bunch of people. And then the people, there were people who were refusing to sign it. Okay. Which was amazing because these people were like, no, I didn't do anything wrong. You guys, I shouldn't be signing anything asking for forgiveness. You guys are the murderers. You should be signing a letter to us asking for forgiveness. And this was so letter. badass. That is so badass because they were in jail. Some of them were like for 10 years, 15 years, five year, five year sentences. And they were like, nope, I'm not signing anything. I didn't do anything wrong, even though that was a requirement to, to be freed. And they were not signing it. There were so many people. There were people in prison that they were that they were holding like protests in prisons and stuff. Like it was crazy brave. And then eventually the government uh, kicked them out even without signing the letter. There were people who were like refusing to leave prison. I can't imagine. There were people outside of prison complaining about they were the fact that they were kicked out they're like i did not consent to this let me back in people were like let me back in i i saw a descriptor where they were like talking about this um, woman who teaches kurdish to children and that said she was forced out of prison i was like excuse me i have never heard the phrase forced out of prison before what the what does that mean <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. 
And they're, so they were like just pushing people out and people are like, why is this happening? Why are they like desperately kicking out of people out of prison? And there's some different hypotheses. Uh, some of them are saying that maybe they can't manage the prisons anymore because they're overpopulated, you know? I think that's part maybe, of it. Maybe they, they're running out of management money or may, maybe it's like destroying the morale of people who are... Because these prisoners are so... Um, you know, there's they just lift you up. They feel they make you feel like this revolution is so for real, right? It's like the people, like I wanted to show you. A, I wanted. To, I forgot to send this to you, Susan. I was gonna play you something. Um, a call out of prison. You know how they, you get calls out of Evin prison, mm -hmm. and it says like in the middle. Um, this is a call from the prison and a cut set. So I was going to show you, a, 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 a play you an audio. I forgot to send that to you. That you can hear people, a group of people hearing, singing Baroye. Baroye is a revolutionary song. And then in the middle, it cuts. I said, this is a call from Evan prison. And it goes back and then the people are singing Baroye. So people were, ch there was a group song in prison <laughs> singing Baroye for the revolution from inside the prison right yo but we have we have friends inside prison that are telling us that like they they um they have like groups of you know they have activities in prison people singing songs and stuff and every time they have to vote for what to sing and there are people in the prison who are for the regime and people who are against the regime right and so every time the vote they it gets voted on they get something that is for you know for the revolution against the regime and even people who are for the regime just join in are like you know this is the this is the choices of the <laughs> the, the people it's a good song <laughs> and there, there's so much solidarity and support among the prisoners there that it's just like melting the heart of the prison guards right so a, a lot of these people are like we're are we the baddies here so i think like given how heartwarming and supportive and you know some people are like being freed and like i'm not leaving this prison without my friend here like there's no way you could kick me out you have to free her if you want to free me and there's like it's just making so many people think like okay these people are good the good people aren't they like we're sims so i think maybe the the pr aspect of it is just ruining the regime's narrative so maybe like you guys are so bad for us for our image well, mm. when we're holding you, so that that's why they're gonna kick them out. So that's another narrative. The, the third narrative, the third um, hypothesis, is that Iran is really desperately trying to get back into the JCPOA, right, yeah. the nuclear deal, and their bad human rights record right now after the revolution is what's being held against them. And so maybe they're trying to release all these prisoners to signal to the West that I don't know they are now going to be better so that they maybe are allowed into jcpoa so i don't know people don't know what their reason is but there, there's so many disgusting propaganda from the uh, sedo sima which is iranians uh, national government tv and they have like prisoners lined up in front of the tv in front of the news to record them and the news announcing that the, the supreme leader has forgiven you so for them to to oh. show them to show the prisoners saying like yay thank and then recording them some of them saying thank you supreme leader you're so kind you're so uh. i don't know benevolent you know and then releasing that on tv so they're using this as a propaganda piece which is so disgusting but anyways so we have yeah. a whole bunch of comments that we need to highlight by the way yeah uh, yeah yeah um we got a new member thank you oh. what i needed they're becoming a member and also with this comment saying you guys uh do uh such a good service i had to join for at least a month oh thank well, you thank you That's so good. much thank you for um, the support so uh oh this is an interesting comment um whoops amir is saying i'm a socialist and i like hearing your guys' opinions and views especially susanna's oh well that's very sweet thank you amir why why why, why especially susanna's okay <laughs> but i know right? i have questions um <laughs> yeah. so gossam is saying raifi poor an, an unofficial spokesperson of the islamic republic has recently said those who are against mandatory hijab just come in the streets especially if you are pretty which is just disgusting. It's well yeah. known that the guards will just pick out the women that they find the most beautiful to go abuse. And um, yeah, it's, and there's so many reports of women being like, he like 
you know, this guard that abused, like he liked hearing us cry. Like they were, they're just like sadists, you know? Um, and um, D is saying too many media outlets have forgotten the Iran protests. Happy we are still paying attention. Yes, there is still so much stuff that is going on. There was a lull for a long, a little period of time because of the executions and then also because of the weather conditions were so bad and then also the cost of living crisis and inflation has gotten to an extreme level in Iran and people need to feed themselves right um but there has actually been a lot of action recently there were pro like big we started to see big mass protests again um like previously when there was the 40th day memorial for the two men that were most recently executed who is um muhammad husseini and uh um uh is syed muhammad karami or yeah muhammad karami um i mean what's the name for the 40th day memorial is it chele 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 okay cool um yeah, so we we're we are seeing mass protests again, and in Sistan and Baluchistan and Zahedan, you are seeing mass protests every Friday, like that never stopped. So it's still ongoing. Um, and Sasan is asking also what happened with Sohail Arabi. Is he doing okay? We have an update on Sohail at the end of this show, so make sure to stay tuned, and we will give you that update. And um, when I hear them is saying, you are welcome. Thank you for becoming a member. But then what was the Iranian news source that you suggested? The first one is Iran Wire. And the second one is called Iran International. Yes. Really good. News. Iran Wire objective, uh, Iran International, if you want something that is more pro, pro the revolution. Yeah. I also, mean, that, uh, to be fair, though, uh, reality is pro like re uh, <laughs> reality is yeah. anti-regime um anti -regime. uh also radio uh radio farda is very good radio farda yes. you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw muhammad hindu goddesses sexy hijabi art jesus mother mary japanese god greek gods and much much more click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art